환영합니다, 손님. 33-1973 Fuel Supply. At the start of the act, gain one liquid fuel. Each scene, mark two random cards in hand. On you, spend two liquid fuel. All offensive dice on this page recover two HP on hit and gain two power. Night in the back street. Start at emotion level five. Well, that's kind of bullshit. And the rest of their passive abilities aren't too important, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to their cards in their shelf. So, starting off with Gather Fuel. On hit, recover 2 HP. On hit, recycle this dice until at max liquid fuel. Alright, what's the max? That doesn't sound good. Unyielding Corpse. On combat start, recover HP equal to half the amount of damage taken for this scene. Persistent Flesh. On use, this character and another ally recover one light and draw one page. That's actually pretty damn good. 3.13 AM. On use, all dice on this page lose two power and draw one page. On clash, lose. Destroy the next dice on this page. On hit, draw one page. 4.34 AM. On use, all dice on this page lose two power and restore one light. On clash, lose. Destroy the next dice on this page. On hit, restore one light. All right. So that seems like everything for Valerie. Now let's go ahead and look at a regular sweeper to see what they have. Sweeper's page, 125 HP, 80 stagger resist, 2 to 7 on the dice rolls. All resistances are normal. Now let's go ahead and look at the passive abilities, see if they have anything different. Not really. It's nothing new and doesn't seem like it's very strong. So let's look at these and it seems like they have the same pages as well now we're going to be using yasod's team to take them on so let's go ahead and get started all right so what is this liquid fuel can be spent to amplify random cards max six so that one page that has the dice that recycles itself can recycle itself five times that can be very damaging so we're gonna have to see what we can do about that let's see how this goes oh nice doing some damage um, that is a lot going into us. Um, don't really much like that. Oh, nice. The stagger resistance is not going down on our guys. Oh, okay. Um, Yusod might have lost a lot. I don't know. Nice hit. Yeah, since we have protection, that's actually, or endurance, is going to help us out. And a little bit of protection as well. I think that's very helpful. Request, um... Add that to Yusod. Nice. Dude, these guys do a lot of damage. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, it's actually not. <laughs> Fuck you. Got that protection. So those last dice aren't going to do shit to us because we have protection, which is nice. Uh, look at that. Nice. Oh, counter dice. Oh, and that one's dead. Nice. Nice. Nice hit. And staggered. Oh, nice hits. Hell yeah. Nice. Nice. 
Not bad. You guys are whooping some ass. Woo! Dead. Ah, oh, hell yeah. Gotta make sure he dies. Let's go. Nice. Let's see if they can persist through that. Nope. Up, oh, and he ran. Valerie ran. I guess she, she. Are you dead? Oh, nope. Barely alive. Ooh, yeah. Magic bullet, obviously. Let's fuck him up. Dead. And the finishing attack. Holy shit. Hell yeah. Moving on to the next one. All right, here we go. Jumping into Lila's page. Honored 50 HP, 85 stagger resist, 2 to 7 on the dice rolls. All resistances are normal for slash and crush, endured for stab. Now, moving on to the passive abilities. Let's see if they have anything new. So it doesn't seem like Lila has anything new in her passive abilities. So we're going to go ahead and move over to the cards in the shelf. So moving on to protective guardian on combat start give two random allies one protection and stagger protection on hit inflict two bleed next scene on hit recover three hp all right now with that let's go ahead and jump in and kill them nice two of them didn't get hit nice that does help out a lot Nice counter dice. Nice. Uh, but not taking any damage. Nice hit. Fucking A. Protection is OP. Not bad. That will actually help us out a lot. Hopefully. Ooh, I always love the Raven team's fucking skills. Or I guess cards. Oh, uh, man. Alright, so what are we getting this time? Blunt dice... Could you imagine if Jebra ran this fucking floor? God damn. With <laughs> that would just be overpowered as shit. Let's get this. Bap, 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 bap. And staggered. Oh yeah, you're gonna get fucked too. It's crazy that there are four acts to this just like the well i guess it makes sense because it is just like the actual fight but man Ooh. these guys are a lot stronger than the other ones because definitely i would not be doing as less damage to them boom baby boom oh yeah the protection man we protect our team goodbye moving on to the next one now moving into Anton's page, 175 HP, 90 stagger resist, 2 to 7 on the dice rolls. All resistances are endured for slash, normal for stab and crush. Moving on to the passive abilities, let's see if they have anything different. Does not seem like it. So we're going to move over to the cards in the shelf. 
Unending Pursuit. On combat start, two random allies deal plus one damage with their offensive dice. On hit, inflict one paralysis next scene. On hit, recover three HP. All right. And that seems like everything. So let's continue. Let's whoop their asses. Ooh, nice. Brumen's page is actually really fucking good. The amplified one. Well, and the normal one's really good. I just never use the normal one until I installed the amplified one. Ooh. And I did go over the Brumen amplified page. I think there's a few blue reverberation uh, amplified mods that I didn't go over. Or what rework is a rework of their pages. It's not really like I fight them again. Which I think that should have been something that would have been really cool to do is fight them all over again with their new passive abilities and shit. But that's not the case. I guess I could always make a video about that. Especially since I just got mentioned or I guess referred to for a player versus player mod, which I might actually ask a buddy of mine to take control of a team while we do that. Nice, dead. Boom, 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 baby. Oh, oh, oh and he did. Get him. Let him know, seriously. <laughs> so just charging in. Get him, Neptunia. Oh. Is that one gonna run? Yep, they're running. Woo! Fucking seriously going in with that. We got Doubtus fucking whooping ass. Holy shit. These guys have nothing on us. All right, guys, here we go. The final fight. Now, as you can see, their HP has gone up. So I have to go over everything real quick once again. So starting off with Anton's page, 250 HP, 115 stagger resist, two to seven on the dice rolls. All resistances are endured for slash normal for stab and crush. Now there's one passive ability that I did see Tenacious figure on hit recover two HP and stagger resistance if this character recovered 10 or more HP in a single scene gain one strength and endurance next scene all right doesn't seem like they have anything new in their pages let's move over to Lila's page 200 HP 100 stagger resist two to seven on the dice rolls all resistances are normal for slash and crush endured for stab now let's see if they have a new passive ability relentless figure on hit recover two hp if the character recovered 10 or more hp in a single scene all allies gain one protection and stagger protection okay valerie's page 200 hp 100 stagger resist two to seven on the dice rolls all resistances are normal for slash and stab and dirt for crush moving over to the passive abilities we have persuasive figure on hit recover two hp if the character recovered 10 or more hp in a single scene draw one page and all allies recover one light what all right and with that everyone that covers all the information on the refueled sweepers now let's go ahead and finish off this fight nice feeling some damage get him <laughs> Jesus. We don't have any protection on us right now, so this could be very bad. Nice hit. Woo! Reflecting that fucking stagger resist back into him. Woo! Oh, dude, the stagger resistance of our guys are just dropping right now. Oh, shit. We cannot let Doubtus die because he gives us our protection. Well, I think Yasoda also gives protection as well. I'm not 100% sure about that, so don't quote me on it. 
but I think he does actually give us protection. Nice. Smash him. Public execution. A nine's growl. Get those deflects in there. Oh, that is unfortunate for you. Nice. Woo. Yeah, we got the protection. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That helps so much. Go, people! I know we get two squads to do this, but I want to do this with you subs, team. Ah. Uh, nice. God damn, doubt us. You only have 2 HP. I don't doubt your survivability, but, you know. Oh no, you're gonna burn! <laughs> doubt us, no! Try and make sure to kill at least one of them off. There we go, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. He is gone. And, uh... You ain't doing shit. Like, other than healing himself, he ain't doing shit. Doubt us. Doubt us. Don't burn. He's gonna burn. He's gonna crash and burn. Doubt us. <laughs> no. it, it was gonna happen. Oh, no. A sad day. Rest in peace, doubt us. Oh my god, the damage. Oh. oh my god. Yeah, fuck off. Fuck off. What is that? Alright. Nice stagger. Smashing! Anton just jumped up to full HP. Alright. Yep, Anton's getting their ass kicked. It'll be worse for them in a second. Right here is when it's gonna be pretty bad. <laughs> Get smashed. And staggered. Nice. Ah, didn't kill Anton. Unfortunate. But what isn't unfortunate is this. We still got that. Oh, I think. You, oh my God! It does. <laughs> does Rediment have something that I did not put on him? Because I know a lot of my passive abilities got changed up on my side. I did go through you so doubt us seriously and Neptunia. But I don't remember going through Rediment. So... Yeah. There might be something on his thing that is not supposed to be there. Maybe? Um... This is not good. This is not good. They are slowly depleting our stagger resistance. Hey, we got Anton! Anton's dead. Oh, and Yasod's just getting back his stagger resist. I didn't even notice how... He only has 20? What the fuck? I didn't even notice that the whole time. He only has 20 stagger resist. I actually did not realize that until he just fucking jumped all the way up. Holy shit. I'm just gonna press P. Fuck it. That's how it's gonna be. Um, and I think you're dead, friend. 
Oh, well, you know, we gotta give props to this sweeper. He lasted longer than his bosses. But now he's dead. He joined them. But with that, everyone, that concludes the refueled sweepers. Now let's go ahead and go burn their books and then look at the pages. Here we go. Give me those pages. Hell yeah, all three of them right then and there. So let's go ahead and jump over to the pages. All right, guys, so here we go with the Amplified Anton. So let's go over the passive abilities real quick and then we will move on to the next one. So. 333-1973 at the start of each scene if this character's hp is 25 percent or lower gain persistence fuel supply at the start of the act gain one liquid fuel each scene mark two random cards in hand on you spend two liquid fuel all offensive dice on this page recover two hp on hit and gain two power Tenacious figure on hit recover two HP and stagger resist if this character recovered 10 or more HP in a single scene gain one strength and endurance next scene Then we have liquid flesh defensive dice power plus one corpse cleanup when another character dies recover 5% max HP at the end of that scene max 12 so that concludes Anton so let's move over to Amplified Linda now let's look at her unique one which is Relentless figure on hit recover 2 HP if the character recovered 10 or more HP in a single scene all allies gain one protection and stagger protection now moving over to the last one we have Valerie's passive ability and that is persuasive figure on hit recover 2 HP if the character recovered 10 or more HP in a single scene draw one page and all allies recover one light. And with that, everyone, the next mod that I will be jumping into, and I am very excited to jump into this one, it's the Jealous Flower mod. So anticipate that mod coming up in the next video. Now with that, everyone, that is going to conclude this video. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and let me know by hitting that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you want to become part of the pack, go ahead and hit that sub button and notification bell to know when a new video goes up. Also, don't forget to leave me a comment down below because all comments are well appreciated. And with that, everyone, I'm Dominic Wolf, and I'll see you all in the next video that I make because I am 